<clears throat> just a, just an overview, Vincent, on, on how things have gone since since Villa coming into this game. Uh, I think there were some talking points in that game, to put it euphemistically. Yeah. Um, how quickly do you do you have to park those things and move ahead to this FA Cup tie? Um, no, I think I said it the day of the game. I'll probably carry it, carry it through the night, but then the next day, it's all about us. The things we 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 have to improve. The things we we did well. And uh, and the next game, obviously, with Tottenham coming up. Are you still broadly encouraged by the sort of trajectory of the performances? Yeah, um, I, 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 f I function in a very simple way. Um, bad day motivates me more, good day motivates me more. So, you know, <laughs> I'm just ready for the next game. And, you know, I, th I think for the team, I, I see the work that they do and, and, and they're spot on. Um, don't have the results for it though and and that's um that's the focus just making sure we get we 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 we, we cross that line you're along you, you go a long time now without a premier league game i think you had games every three or four days in december and there's two premier league games in in january yeah. what do you what do you make of that scheduling I, I i know there's been a bit of talk about winter breaks or mini winter breaks or whatever they're called in the premier league does it feel a bit strange to have so many games and then so few um, I I don't know. I, I I'm I'm not one for complaining about that kind of stuff too much. I, I just get on with it. <laughs> they they arrange the fixtures and we play. And and as long as it's fair, and everyone's going through the same, then then I have no complaints about it. Does it alter the way you prepare? I guess you have a lot more time on the training ground and and here compared um, to last month. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Although I'd say. Probably you start the season with wanting more training sessions than games, and that's because of the cohesion stuff. Especially if you have a, a group of players that, that haven't played together, and then as the season goes, I think now I'm at a point where I, p I prefer more games than than uh, than too many training sessions. That's that's where ultimately you see them make the most progress. Now is when they play games, they go to Villa, they go to. Um, Every game we've played recently, you know, that's when when you see the group um, improving. So, so that's what I prefer at the moment. I know you've spoken in the past about bringing new players in and it, it taking a certain number of sessions or a certain amount of sort of contact time yeah. with the players. Yeah. If you now would prefer games to training ground time, have you have you reached that point where they've got enough sessions into them? I think now it's it's experience. It's it's building up the. Um, just, just building, just building up the the finer details of this league, you know, being being aware of key moments and and all these things you can you can discuss in a in a video, you can, you can show them footage, you can um, practice in training. But the best way to learn is well, getting hurt by it first, and then um, feeling the reward when you when you um, when you wisen up to it. And and we've done so many things really well. Um, but but un unless you have the points, you um, you always left wanting for for you know. There's always a void, and, and and we that that's our priority. As far as the FA Cup is concerned, can that be a continuation of this trajectory that you're on and this improvement that we're talking about? Yeah, I mean it's it's exactly how I, I look at it. Um, I, I don't make a big distinction between the fact that it's an FA Cup game or a Premier League game. We we have the opportunity to play against one of the best teams in England, in the best league in the world. So that, that means a lot. And, and treating that game in, 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 as being an important game for us to continue, you know, measuring ourselves to these teams, that's, that's something for me that is, that is important. Yeah, you could look at it, I suppose, and say the draw's not been kind and we've got to go to Tottenham and it's going to be a very difficult game. Do you see it as another useful exercise to measure yourself against the top teams in the Premier League? Brutally honest, it's the best possible draw. Because you could have these kind of draws in the quarterfinals, and you sit, you, you've done x amount of you, x amount of games in, and you've played against league 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 two clubs, league one clubs, and all of a sudden you get to the semi-finals, and it's it's better it's better to have the outcome of these type of games early for us. Game one, um, if 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 you if you win the game, you can hope for a positive cup run, and you carry on. If you don't win the game, then then you move on back to the league. But um, I'm embracing the challenge anyway, but I'm not saying it's a bad draw. It's a, it's, 
it's um it's a good it's 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 a, the right draw at the right time is there more benefit therefore to this game against tottenham measuring yourself against those players than maybe winning two three four cup ties against lower division opponents i i think for where we are now um this is better you know and um i'm not saying it's easy i'm not saying you know obviously my goal is is it's with the team. I think last year we did a few rounds in both competitions, and 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 you know it was a nice experience. But um, but these moments, you know, that 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 are moments you want in a cup game, eventually, whether they come in the first round or in the or, or in the latter stages. So it's only when you go through these rounds that you know whether you're going to have a cup run. And for us to have it early, it's better because if we if we if we manage to go through the round, then then. Um, then, then, then after that, I'd, I'd be very disappointed in if if any other team uh, kicks us out. Um, as far as Tottenham are concerned, I think Ange Postecoglou is getting a lot of plaudits for not just the way his team plays, but the way he is in situations like this, and the fact that he seems like quite a normal fella, to be honest. I remember hearing Pep Guardiola say that he became aware of him when he was coaching in Japan for one of the teams in the City group. How long have you been kind of aware of the work he's been doing? Yeah, I, I I've been. <laughs> Um, for for a while actually, for, for a long time, before before he even got to Japan, and um, and I, 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 via another person, I got in touch, making sure you know, just finding out a little bit about what his what his ideas were about when he was in Japan. So um, I'm not surprised. He's he's also done probably the hardest way to do it, you know, he's, he's come from Australia, he's had to get out of Australia, gone into Japan, Scotland, and then getting into the Premier League ev eventually. Um, but but his character and his personality kind of ex gives, gives you an, kind of, he can show you in many moments as to why he's been successful without having to be talking about football. You know, you you can just you can just see it when you when you see the person. We hear about character a lot, don't we? How important is it to have that that right personality and be able to deal with those setbacks? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a tough gig in the sense that you you have to have the right personality, character. You have to have leadership. You have to be tactically, technically aware, and 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 everybody has his strengths and weaknesses, of course. So um, it's hard to to be all those things at once and, and, and it seems to be what everyone demands though. And and that's um there's very few people who are like this and, and, and yeah that's the the the, the are traits there that you've named that are um, you know could be in a person without having the other traits and it's to have the combination is important. And I spent a bit of time with Charlie Adam yesterday. He was talking about you and the influence that you've had on him going into his first head coach's role. Your calmness was something that that he singled out. Uh, is it is it? Difficult? So you've got inside info that's not made up. Then is it is it difficult to to keep a level head? I know you say it to us all the time, but is it is it difficult to kind of practice what you preach, kind of thing? I think for some people it is, yeah. <laughs> but I, I I don't know. I I try to explain to you when I'm in a press conference as well, just simply who I am. Um, I've always been like this, you know, and um, I, I have a, I have a switch like everybody, like every human being as well. But but that switch comes a little bit later, maybe than than others, and um, it it really it really depends. Like I, I focus very very I focus I tell you what I focus a lot on the things that are said at the very beginning because there's a lot of thinking going into what we want to say so if we have a vision for either the club or for the team or for you know or, or whether i'm a player whether i'm a manager i focus a lot on what is said at the beginning and how we're going to achieve it and once you believe in that then i'm very much driven into following the path and of course adapting where you need to adapt because that's you have to continuously improve what I don't do is I don't lose my head after after you know for every bad pass or every bad touch. Sometimes for the refereeing at times, but but you know I'm not superhuman. That's what I said. But but I I, I can I can follow the path and consistency is the biggest thing I believe in, in 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 and consistency and effort. Then everything else is just 
you know um it's a personal touch but consistent consistency and effort i really believe in now so to be consistent you have to have some some level of calm some degree of calmness as well and, and i know charlie said that you'd spoken a little bit and he'd been picking your brains and you'd kind of be one of those people that he would be checking in with throughout his managerial career does it feel a little bit weird to be at a relatively young age kind of providing that sounding board for young managers <laughs> Yes, it does. It is the, that's the simple answer, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Hi, Vinny. Um, I, I know you highlighted after, after the Villa game um, how you had a special moment with the fans at that full time. Yeah. How important is it to have that unity, given that it's been a difficult season so far? Yeah, and <clears throat> see, and we're mixing it because we about four days ago I was speaking about how wonderful a year it was. So difficult season, wonderful year. I think it's a bit of both and, and I, we've gone through it together. Um, and I think everything we do is to, to, to try and give them those, to give them moments, that's all. You know, it's, I think it's the succession of memories that, that creates a bond and we've had good memories. And, and, and everything we do every single day in training is to try and give them as many moments as we can in the future. Yeah. Jordan Bayer came off during that game. How's he mm. getting on since, since then? Yeah, he he won't feature in the next game, but hopefully, hopefully he'll be um, back for the Luton game. Obviously, the, the transfer window's open now. Has there been much much movement since it's been open the last few days? You see, by just saying Jordan Bayer won't feature in the next game, I've saved my uh, my colleague from Tottenham just a few few extra minutes of work trying to find <laughs> out whether he's going to play or not. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, chance window. It's now open. Has there yeah. been much movement in terms of potential incomings the last um, few days? We've definitely. Um, I mean, I, I, I definitely sat down with the recruitment team and and the chairman, and we've definitely um, we're definitely looking at every possible option. Uh, but I can't say much more than that. There's nothing obvious at the moment that stands out that could, um, you know, drastically change our season. But if there is, we 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 we're, we're obviously. Um, um, we're doing our homework, we're doing our research for sure. There's obviously been talk about Manuel Benson and Anasuri leaving. What's their situation at the moment? Yeah, I, I think, look, it's, it's fair to say that both players haven't featured too much this season, but um, as to this, the discussions we're having with them, it's, it's, we're, we're pretty clear, you know, we're, um, we, we, definitely, um, we definitely believe in the players and uh, I think the situation of Anas is not the situation of Benny, so we're having those conversations individually. And finally, just seeing that Owen Dodgson and um, Darker Stella being recalled, obviously because they're going out again. What's the plan with Sorry. that? <coughs> oh. <coughs> Sorry, Owen yeah. Dodgson and yeah. uh, Darker Stella being recalled, but costello has gone, gone out again. What's, yeah. what's the plan now with Owen, Owen Dodgson? Yeah, Owen will go back on loan and, and play. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Last one, the back. TA media for Ellie. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Hi Vinny, it's Hello. obviously it's been a, a busy time, so in terms of your selection for this weekend, do you see it as an, an opportunity maybe to give some other people a, a chance or do you want to stick with broadly the, the team that you've been playing? Um, no, I, th I think we, like I said, we look at this, this game against Tottenham as another Premier League game, so... Um, you know, even if there is a change or two, I, I don't think there's anything crazy to expect. I mean, the goal for us is to uh, to to continue um, trying to play against these teams and maybe get results against these teams. And and I, I don't think we we can afford to do anything too crazy. But um, maybe one or two, but but no, nothing nothing major. Tottenham are obviously missing Son now. There's a few kind of big Premier League players who've gone to going to AFCON or, or Asian Cup. Do you think that those competitions could potentially have a, a decent impact on, on what happens in the Premier League over the next month or so? Uh, I don't know. That's the honest <laughs> answer. It's my first year in the Premier League as a manager and experiencing this. I don't know. I don't know. I'd like, I'd like AFCON to have... Um, a window of itself, though, I would I would do. I think uh, you look at the the quality of the the teams and the players. I mean, I was recently going through the Senegal team for some reason, and you watch the quality of those teams over there. Um, it should be a highlight as well, just like the the Euros are. Um, and now it kind of falls into the season where you've got 
a little bit of a, a mixed feeling because you lose your best players, but at the same time, you know, it's, a, it's an awesome competition, so you, you want to watch it as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully he'll get, he'll get the window he deserves.